In this video, we're going to talk about how to draw the Lewis structure of the nitrate polyatomic ion. So let's begin. One of the first things that we need to do in order to draw the Lewis structure of any polyatomic ion is to count the number of valence electrons of each element in that ion. So we have one nitrogen atom, three oxygen atoms, and we also need to add a negative one because of the minus one charge of the polyatomic ion. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. Oxygen has six. And we're going to make this positive one instead of negative one because an electron automatically has a negative charge. Now, three times six is 18. 18 plus five is 23. 23 plus one is 24. So that's the total number of valence electrons in this particular polyatomic ion. Now note that 24 is a multiple of eight. When you see that, this tells us something special. It tells us that there's not gonna be any lone pairs on the central nitrogen atom, given that there's no hydrogen atoms in this structure. So if we know that there's no lone pairs on the central nitrogen atom, and we know that nitrogen wants to have eight electrons, then the only way that can happen is if it has four bonds because each bond represents two electrons. So we're going to have one, two, three, four bonds. Now, anytime oxygen has one bond, it's going to have three lone pairs because it wants to obey the octet rule. It wants to have eight electrons around it. Anytime it has one bond, it's going to have a minus charge. Now, when oxygen has two bonds, it's going to have two lone pairs, and it's going to be neutral in charge. In order to calculate the charge, we could use the formal charge formula, which is equal to the number of valence electrons minus the bonds and the dots around that element. So in the case of, let's use this oxygen as an example, it has six valence electrons. Oxygen is in group 6A of the periodic table. And in that structure, it has one bond and six dots. This is two, four, six dots. So this is six minus seven, which gives it a negative one charge. Now for the double bonded oxygen, it too has six valence electrons. It has two bonds, four dots. So six minus six is zero. Thus the oxygen atom on the top is neutral in charge. Now let's do the same thing for nitrogen. If we calculate the formal charge on nitrogen, it has five valence electrons, four bonds, zero dots. So five minus four is plus one. Thus the nitrogen at the center has a positive one formal charge. Now notice what's gonna happen if we add up all the charges plus one, minus one, minus one, this will equal negative one. And this is important because it represents the overall charge on the polyatomic ion, which makes sense. If that number doesn't match up, something is wrong. We messed up somewhere. But the fact that they do match up tells us that we are on the right track. So that's how you could determine the formal charge on each element in a Lewis structure. Now, there are some other things that you want to be aware of when considering the nitrate Lewis structure. For one thing, it has a trigonal planar molecular geometry, and these structures typically have a bond angle that is very close to 120 degrees. It can vary from one molecule to another, but for trigonal planar molecular shapes, the bond angle is around 120. The hybridization at the central nitrogen atom is sp2. An sp2 hybrid orbital is basically a mix of one s orbital and two p orbitals. Now the last thing that we need to consider are the resonance structures of the nitrate polyatomic ion. We could move the double bond anywhere among these three oxygen atoms. In fact, they equally share that double bond. So this is simply one way of representing the nitrate Lewis structure. Another way is we could take 
a lone pair, use those two electrons to form a pi bond, break this pi bond, and push those two electrons to the top. And so we're going to get a Lewis structure that looks like this. So now this oxygen has two lone pairs. The one on top has three lone pairs and a minus charge. So this is another way in which we can represent the Lewis structure of the nitrate ion. These two are resonance structures, and they're exactly equal. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to draw the Lewis structure of the nitrate ion. You also know its molecular geometry, bond angle, hybridization, and you also know how to draw some of the resonance structures for this ion. Thanks for watching.